Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about potential tropical storm Paulette and Renee that could form in the Atlantic Ocean within the next couple of days. And one of them could potentially become a hurricane, and Paulette will likely be the disturbance that is highlighted red right now, so we will have to watch closely for that. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this for friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. This is the National Hurricane Center's website. We have three main highlighted disturbances in the Far Eastern Atlantic. One of which, this one I just highlighted here, in best 91L has a 20% chance of formation through 48 hours and a 30 through 5 days. In best 92L has a 40% chance through 48 hours and an 80% chance through 5 days. This system, 92L will likely become Paulette. This will be named first, most likely. And then this other disturbance over here, which currently is not an invest, has a zero for 48 hours and a 60% chance through five days. So this will likely become Renee unless invest 91L forms before 92L sucks it in. Let's get right into the models. Intensity guidance for 91L is spread out. Some models have it becoming a tropical storm before it gets merged and affects 92L. This 91L will likely merge with 92L, and they will become one system, which is why 92L has a higher chance of development than 91L. These are all the paths 92L could take, which will likely become Paulette. Model guidance is very split on this. Most of them have it curving back into the Atlantic, and then some of them have it going towards the United States and Puerto Rico. And that solution will need to be watched for a potential hurricane for the United States if it decides to continue towards the United States and not go back into the ocean. Everyone should be on high alert for potential Paulette and Best 92L for potential U.S. impacts down the road if it does not curve back into the ocean. With how my model guidance is right now, anything could happen with the system. This is a GFS model and what that thinks is going to happen. We can move on here through September 9th and 10th, you see two systems in the Atlantic, one far northeast of Puerto Rico, right here with a 1001, and a much stronger system farther northeast of that with a pressure of 977, a likely hurricane over there. Then as those both of those continue northeast, they make a loop-de-loop, -loop, which is very strange Model guidance is very split on all these systems with potential U.S. impacts and it keeps looping around and all that stuff. And remember, this is only one model's opinion on what will happen. These are current sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic right now in degrees Celsius. Areas we will have to watch if these systems move into are off the coast of the southeast where you do see 30 to 32 degree waters over there, which will strengthen the system significantly if it can get into that patch there and as usual if it can get into the gulf particularly closer to mexico where you see 30 to 32 degree waters however that is more than unlikely and it will likely make a track north of puerto rico and towards the united states if it decides to go towards the united states which is definitely probable at this point in time I will make updates on the system as we move along, and if it does end up forming. That's the trusted weather forecast for a potential tropical storm or hurricane Paulette and Renee. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.